We sing you a welcome to the party. That dance. It's global now. Everybody's doing that dance, man. Everybody. Before New York-based drill rapper T. Wu would be tragically gunned down in the Brooklyn streets in early 2022, he was born to Jay Dobson sometime in the year of 2000 and grew up near the intersection of East 98th Street and Avenue L. For those of you who don't know that area all that well, that's mostly a residential area in Southeast Brooklyn known as Canarsie. Outside of where he grew up, a lot of T. Dot's youth has remained a mystery. Now that's probably because this young man was still very much in the midst of blowing up when it all came crashing down around him. But in the beginning, well, this young man had a whole ton of potential. T-Dot's journey to becoming a drill rapper began with his friendship with two men, Fabio Foreign and Pop Smoke. These guys all grew up around Brooklyn and would see each other frequently, in the same circles, leading to T-Dot popping up in the background of their music videos, where he'd show off his incredible dance moves. This was something that made him so popular that he was eventually able to quit his day job at the airport as a result. T-Dot's most memorable appearances include Pop Smoke's 2019 track, Welcome to the Party, as well as Fabio Foreign's Big Drip single from that very same year. In fact, his dance moves caught on so quickly that before he knew it, he had garnered a reputation for popularizing what others would call the Woo Walk, with Woo being an acronym for winning the only option. Winning the only option. That's what Woo means. It's a movement. We only winning. We're not doing nothing else. We're just winning. We're just trying to win. That's I kind of so. heard that Woo is we on our own. Yeah, you feel me? I'm from the floors. You know what I mean? It's, it's, all different. it's all different matters. It don't, it don't matter what it is. Woo is a lifestyle. It's what we do. It's, it don't matter. We on our own. We win, that's it. Soon enough, thousands of people were flocking to his social media profiles on TikTok and Instagram, where he'd regularly upload content from his life, alongside his incredibly famous friends, as his own celebrity and popularity slowly but surely climbed upward. As short-lived as T. Wu's rise to fame would be, in many ways, his career as a musical artist would be even shorter. After becoming synonymous with the hip-hop dance scene in New York, T. would move up a level by becoming a performing artist to put on for his good friend Pop Smoke after Pop was shot and killed in Los Angeles in February of 2020. For the fact that I see where Pop took it, you feel me, where Pop was going with it, I could see like, we gonna be OD big. Like, it's gonna take us like international. Like, Pop is already international. Like, it's gonna just gonna be big. Like, we could make something out of nothing. Only a few weeks after the death of his friend, T. Dot would hop in the booth alongside fellow Brooklyn rapper, Young Castamato, for a series of singles, starting with the track, that's it, which dropped online in May of 2020. Later that summer, these two would reteam for what would easily become the biggest song of T Dot's career, like Woo. That single would accumulate over 600,000 views on YouTube alone and lead to Woo crafting further tracks like Mike Jack and Step in the summer and fall of 2021, respectively. Afterwards, T Dot's music career was set to explode to even greater heights. He started fielding calls from labels and record companies before ultimately deciding to sign a deal with Million Dollar Music in late January of 2021. Too. Signing his deal was quite possibly the single greatest moment of his life, but T. Wu would only have about a week to enjoy it before everything would come to a tragic and violent conclusion. On Tuesday afternoon at around 2.20 p.m. on February 1st, 2022, T. Wu received a phone call while spending time at home in Canarsie with his grandmother after having just returned from LA where he had filmed the music video with some friends. Soon after the call ended, T. would head outside as if going to wait on someone. Moments later, something would go horribly wrong grandmother would tell New York City Daily News, I hear the four shots, three in his back and one in his head. I think it was boom, 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 very quick rapid shots. I was wondering and said, no, that's too close to home. The shooting has to be near here. T. Dot's grandmother would rush outside only to find her grandson bleeding out on the ground in front of their building. She immediately called 911. According to reports, by the time T. Dot's grandmother made the call, local law enforcement was already responding to a shot spotter activation, which is a detection system used by authorities to track gunshots. As an NYPD police helicopter is circling this neighborhood right now as we speak tonight. Earlier this evening, police tape lining the block as officers tried to piece together what led up to this shooting here in Canarsie. The NYPD circling overhead in a helicopter earlier as well. The NYPD has not yet released the name of the victim because the family has not yet been notified. Once the police arrived, they found T-Dot bleeding from multiple wounds, including from his head and left knee. He was transported as quickly as possible to Brookdale Hospital, 
but he wouldn't survive the extensive damage the attack had caused and was pronounced dead soon afterwards. It didn't take long after the news broke for tributes to come pouring in, and one of the first was a music video from director Jeremy T. Lamb, who had recorded T-Dot while shooting videos for Pop Smoke and Fabio Foreign. And with Pop Smoke no longer around to grieve for his fallen friend, it fell on Fabio Foreign to take the Instagram and inform the world that he was gonna miss T-Dot Wu forever. As for the perpetrator of this crime, well, the sad truth is, no one knows who did it. Police believe that the suspect fled the scene in a dark SUV, but no arrests have ever been made in connection with the shooting. What's more, unlike with many other drill-related deaths, T. Wu didn't have much, if any, in the way of gang affiliation, so authorities are currently at loss for the motive behind this startling crime. And while T. Dot's killer might not ever be caught, his grandmother had some very choice words for whoever took her grandson away from her by telling the New York Daily News, they have no guts and they must stop it and the government must take them off the street. They must stop it. It's not good for the neighborhood. You can't just come and kill people like birds. Come on. About three days after his death, a candlelight vigil was attended by T-Dot's friends, fans, and family outside his home to serve as a tribute for his life and to strengthen his grieving relations through his trying time. Then, a few weeks later, T-Dot's body was led by a white horse-drawn carriage to the graveyard at No Limit Pentecostal Church. Coincidentally enough, T-Dot Wu would be laid to rest exactly two years and one day after the passing of his good friend Pop Smoke, which only serves to remind us just how dangerous being a New York City drill rapper is these days. It's global now. Everybody's doing that dance, man. See? You got the whole world dancing, doing your doing Yo, your pop. Bro, this shit crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <laughs> uh -huh. Pop pop took me up the crib. I was like, yo, because like we did NPR, you feel me? Mm -hmm. NPR, that shit went viral. Everybody was on Facebook, like, yo, you feel me? Yo, that was wild. Like, you feel me? Will stories like these ever stop? It is hard to know, but let's be honest, it's not gonna happen anytime soon. All we can do is mourn the ones who have fallen and remember the incredible work that they left behind. It's not enough, but right now it's all we got. So we here at Before They Were Famous would like to send our prayers and well wishes to T-Dot's family, in particular his grandmother who had to go through something that no family member should ever have to see when she discovered her grandson on the street. And here's to hoping that somehow, some way, the New York authorities are able to provide some closure for her by figuring out who did this. Otherwise, all we can do right now is say rest in power T-Dot Wu, you and your talent are sorely missed. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and turn your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Clyde Smith, my voice a little gone, but I'll see you in another video.